just knowing in, in those moments of death, spirit and love is stronger than death. Spirit and love is stronger than death. No matter what it took, the miracles showed up, all of it showed up. There's nothing in this world that we're up against that we can't overcome with this simple devotion and commitment. And, I, and, and seriously, I mean, I am so beyond euphoric to be here standing here today. I didn't think, I mean, literally, I thought, you know, I'm going to get to the, 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 the finish line because it's not the finish, it's the beginning. But of this cycle, entering a new one, like, collapsed on the ground, like, just crying, like, okay, I'm here. Um, and now I'm like, you know, I'm breathing and I'm standing and I haven't gotten a lot of sleep and I'm a little shaky. But um, this is huge. And... Uh, and it hasn't been an easy road, but you know what? It's been the most incredible journey ever because it's proven how powerful the human spirit is, and each and every one of us is made of this. And, and simple commitment, no matter how difficult you know, anything in your life is, just remind yourself, I'm committed to the positive timeline, I'm committed to spirit, I'm committed to the truth in myself, I'm committed to unity consciousness, and participating and stepping up in this global family and being the best that I can be. And from there, no amount of mistakes, or, or bad days or troubles are going to get in the way. We're going to be experiencing positive and negatives. It's not about, oh, now it's all good and it's always going to be good. It's about neutrality. It's about being able to handle the ups and downs, the positive and negatives from a place of centered awareness and neutrality, but not neutrality that's like, you know, doesn't care, but it just doesn't need to react. It's so anchored in one's passion, one's mission, one's purpose, that nothing can get in the way. And the negatives are just as important as the positives because the negatives means we're creating alchemy, we're creating change. So it doesn't always, it's not always going to be fun, but when it's not fun, embrace this as the potent place to create the most change. Like, oh, there's still work to do. Bravo, there's still work to do. Because if, you know, you, one pushed it away, it's not going to disappear. It might get transmuted if one holds the frequency of resolution and release. But, you know, anything that still lingers, it's just work that needs to be done. That's all it is. It's just energy. We can't take it too seriously. You know, laughter is one of the highest spiritual attributes. You know, when it gets really difficult, just laugh. It all is really funny. I mean, look at what these people do. They sit there like, how can we screw up the human race next? I mean, like, <sighs> I mean, it's just... What a life. And like, here we are. Like, we're not even like becoming trained assassins to get rid of these people. We're just like, well, we're just going to love each other. I mean, we could be really pissed, you know? Like, I could have, you know, started a Facebook group. Like, let's just kill these mother, you know? It's like, I, 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 we can have access to the White House. Like, I think I've got some connections. No, we, we didn't play. We didn't stoop to that level. We have seriously put up with the worst abuse ever, and we didn't touch any of them. We love them, we forgave them, and we're asking them to come home. We're asking them to join us because we are seriously spirit. We are love. We are forgiveness. And we're freaking amazing. And I love you all so much. To attend or live stream the next Star Knowledge Conference, go to starknowledgeconference.com.